Warning, distressing images at least 14 sperm whales have died following a mass stranding on King Island, off Tasmania's northwest coast. It is not yet known how they came to be stranded but an investigation is underway to collect samples and determine if any other whales are in the area. Reports of the stranded whales were received by the Department of Natural Resources and Environment Tasmania Marine Conservation Program MCP, on Monday afternoon. Those reports were confirmed by Tuesday afternoon, after a team of wildlife biologists and a vet traveled to the island and began investigations. Images show the animals dead, stranded in shallow, bloodied water. All the whales were young males, and the department told 7 News. Com.au They were dead at the time the stranding was reported. It is not unusual for sperm whales to be sighted in Tasmania and the area the whales have stranded is within the normal range and habitat for sperm whales. While further inquiries are yet to be carried out, it is possible the whales were part of the same bachelor pod, a group of younger male sperm whales associating together after leaving the maternal group. The carcasses could attract sharks, so surfers and swimmers have been asked to avoid the immediate area. Members of the public are reminded it is an offense to interfere with protected wildlife, including being in possession of parts of a dead whale, and are asked to keep their distance, the department added. Parks and Wildlife Service staff are on site monitoring the situation. Sperm whales are distinguished by their extremely large head, which takes up 25 to 35 percent of their total body length, and their lower jaws are narrow and underslung, the Department of Climate Change, Energy, Environment and Water said. They tend to remain in offshore areas with a water depth of 600 meters or more and are uncommon in waters less than 300 meters deep. Current threats to the species include seismic operations causing evasive responses, collision with large vessels on shipping lanes, entrapment in fishing gear, illegal whaling, and pollution leading to a bioaccumulation of toxic substances, 